Hi everyone, for your safety, please make sure you read and understand the full disclaimer found in the description box below this video prior to starting this fitness class. Hi everyone, Kim Lazo here, fitness and sports instructor from Gyrus in Toronto. Today I'm excited to run you through a 45 minute HIIT workout. We're going to do high intensity interval training as well as core training, so it's going to be a sweaty one. All you're going to need today are two pylons, but really you can use any two objects as markers. You can even use your own shoes, okay? So let's make sure you have your own music running because I won't be playing any. We're going to do a thorough warm up coming up and then the work, and then the cool down at the end, okay guys? All right team, so how it's gonna work, we're gonna do three total sets of five exercises. We're gonna do each exercise for 40 seconds, and then have a 20 second rest in between. So this is called HIIT training. If you look at your watch later, you'll see that heart rate spike up, and then come down as you rest, back up, and down like a snake, okay? Right, so before we do a warm up, I'm gonna demonstrate five exercises for you. So the first one here, we're gonna have our pylons a meter apart and we're gonna be in a ski jump position. So I'm gonna have my left leg planted by the left pylon, then I'm going to jump across, try to regain my balance on my right foot, and I'm gonna hinge forward and then back up, ready to jump to the next side. Hinge forward, and then jump, okay? So if I were to show you this from the side angle, here, catch my balance, hinge forward, and then jump to the next side. Hinge forward, and back in, okay? That's exercise one. Exercise two, we're gonna get down into a plank position in the center of the pylons. We're gonna do four mountain climbers, one, two, three, Four, and then bring our leg to the side, almost like you're taking the pylon. Back to the mountain climbers. Right? So you can position the pylons as close or far away from you as you like. That would make it more challenging, obviously, the further they are. Take one pylon and place it by the center here. We're going to do a drop squat. So starting feet shoulder width apart, we're going to have the pylon to our center. We're going to pick up the pylon, jump in, out and then turn our body right so it might take a little bit of getting used to essentially just think i um, bring my feet together and out together and out right uh, we're going to do that for the third exercise for the fourth exercise we're going to get into a plank position we're going to walk ourselves slow and steady to one side do a push up and then continue back to the next side our body nice and leveled. Just like so. You can also choose to walk across, drop the knees down, and do your push up. Last one, we're gonna hold a lunge position. So 90 degrees and 90 degrees, knees in line with the toes, keeping the chest up. We're gonna pass the pylon through our legs, holding this isometric position for 20 seconds before switching to the next side. Front angle looks like this. Right, so I'm just keeping my chest up. Let's get our watches on. Let's press start, because we're about to start our warm up. Start off with running on the spot. Okay, let's get our body flow going. I know it's uh, sometimes hard to memorize all five exercises, but as you're following along, you'll get used to the five, okay? So here we're going to run forward and back. So just nice and lightly increasing that blood flow. Nice deep breaths here. All right. Good. Now we're going to go side to side, okay? So moving across the screen here. Hoping I don't get cut off, so I'm just taking two lateral steps, just like that. Super cold in the spin room, so I'm glad I'm doing this HIIT workout. It's freezing right now. All right, we'll do one more on each side. Awesome. 
Next, we're going to do some jumping jacks. Classic jumping jacks. If you want, you can also step it out. That's more comfortable for you today. Awesome. We're definitely going to burn a lot of calories today. So let's make sure we get a good warm up in. Good, let's do about five more. Three, four, five, good. Next, taking our knee in towards our chest. Let's do five on each side, warming up our hips. Ooh, that feels good. <laughs> awesome, similar concept, but this time we're gonna pull our foot to our butt want you can hinge forward right work on that balance we're gonna need it today for sure we're gonna do five on each side <laughs> sometimes you gotta warm up and find that right balance good one more Awesome. Let's warm up those hamstrings. We're going to do Frankensteins, reaching the foot to the hand as straight as you can. If not, that's fine. Five each side. Awesome. Good work, guys. All right, next we're going to walk ourselves into a plank position. Take your right foot, place it by your right hand, and open up to the right side. We're doing the world's greatest stretch. And yes, that's actually what it's called. You're opening up the hips and the upper back. So we're doing three per side here. Take your time with this one. I'm going to show you from the side view. Option to drop that knee as well. Excellent. Good. We're going to stay on the ground for the next one. We're going to be in a modified plank position. And we're going to do slow and controlled push-ups. Okay, let's do five reps. Keep your butt tight. One more. Awesome. We're gonna walk ourselves back and continue to open up and warm up the upper body. We're gonna do an inch work. So walking out into a plank to one pylon, walking it back into our hands, and then to the next side. We're going to do six total. <laughs> you should feel nice and warm already. And the next side. One last one. Excellent work. Good. All right. We're going to get into a lunge now. So we're going to step one foot forward. And then alternate. Breathing should still be nice and leveled. We're doing five per side. That's three. This is four. Five. Excellent. Good. Now again, continue to open up the hips. We're going to do squats, but we're going to push out onto our knees with our elbows, chest up. For five reps. From the side view, two more reps. Chat stays tall as if you're having a conversation with someone in front of you. Good job. Okay? Let's warm up. 
to get into those squat jumps later on. So nice and gentle. We're going to do five controlled reps. Always landing with bent knees, okay? It should be nice and quiet as well. Good. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. We're going to get started, so make sure you have your water with you. I'm going to start the timer. And the class is going to start in 10 seconds, okay? The first one, we have our ski jump to stiff leg deadlift, okay? Let's do this. Three, two, one, let's go. Here, and hinge if you can. There you go. Another modification is just to skip the hinge and just go side to side, okay? This. But if you want to increase and improve your balance, I'm going to add in this challenge for myself here. Woo. Feel those muscles underneath your feet that sometimes we neglect really working here. Nice job, guys. Three seconds. Good. 20 seconds rest. That wasn't too bad. Okay, next we're going to do a side plank, or sorry, a mountain climber, and then we're going to hit the sides with the feet. Okay, so in this position, one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. If you're keeping your hips nice and leveled like a regular plank. That's it, guys. Excellent. Tap, tap. If you can't quite hit the pylon, that's fine. You should feel the burn in your core, as well as your glute as well. Okay, guys, 20 second rest. Let's have our one pylon ready for our drop squats. Okay, so feet are shoulder width apart to start. We're going to pick up the pylon, jump in, out to the side, drop the pylon. That's it, guys. In and out, basically. When in doubt, in, out. Keep moving. Even if the choreography seems confusing, don't get too much in your head. Right, you know how to do a squat. Just adding a little bit of plyometric here. Excellent. Getting water if we need to. All right, we're going to do our plank.
front view, knees in line with the toe, chest stays tall. Feel that burn through the glutes and the quads. Two, one, excellent. We get a 60 second rest in between. Feel free to pause if you want a little bit longer of a rest, okay? One set done, we've got two more. Okay, make sure you stay hydrated, everyone. Woo. I think I, even myself, I think we're gonna get more into the groove. Every time it's a different exercise, sometimes it gets a little confusing, um, but I'm sure you will pick it up and get used to that in the second set here, right? So remember our first one is that squat jump to deadlift. I think I'm going to try to attempt this from the side so that way you can kind of see multiple angles. Okay, about a meter apart. Okay, let's do this, guys and gals. Here, jumping to the opposite side, catch your balance, hinge. Hinge. I feel this 
one because it's an isometric hold. My heart rate is not necessarily going up, but I feel my muscles really feeling that burn, right? All right, let's use one leg. So how balanced can you keep your body? Like I don't want you to see this or that. Keep yourself nice and upright. We're breathing. Good, last one. So we're switching. Let's go. Good work. So you didn't choose an object that was heavy. <laughs> Five seconds before a 60 second rest. Woo! Good job. Air high fives to everyone. Let's get water, okay? Shake it out, walk it out. And like I said, you can always pause the video. Let's say you need a little longer rest. Maybe you need 90 seconds to catch your breath instead of 60. Feel free to do that. Woo. We only got one more set, everyone. And then after that, we have our core work. Core work. Okay, make sure we're not cramping. Walking it out. Okay, good guys. So choose one side. We're gonna do our ski jumps. Right, so option again to get rid of the hinge completely. You want to focus more on the cardio component. If you want to increase that difficulty, hinge. Hinge, come back up and jump. Hinge, come back up and jump. You got this, guys. Whichever one you choose, you can even alternate. Maybe you're doing two regular jumps and then two. Woo. <laughs> Yes. Shake it up. Shake it up. We got our mountain climbers. Next. All right, let's get onto the ground. One, two, three, four. Touch. Touch. One, two, three, four. Touch. Touch. You can move those pylons as close or as far for you. We're halfway there. Slowly kicking it up. Right? You start to feel that burn also through the glutes, not just the core. Yes. Three 
three side steps with my hand before coming down. You got this, guys. Ten seconds left. That's it. That's all. Let's get one more. Excellent. Good. On to the last one. Woo. Shake it out. Grab one pylon into our lunges. So this one's going to burn. Let's have our pylons ready. I am going to demonstrate four exercises first, and then we'll get started together as a team. Okay? So one, only really going to do the one for this one. We're going to be in a plank position. Sorry, I'm going to just back here. And we're just going to do our plank taps, right? So keeping the hips as leveled as possible. So from the side. Try not to move the hips as I touch forward, right? Just like that. Next, we're going to take the pylons and we're going to place it behind us, okay? So just behind us here, I am going to be in a side plank position and I'm going to reach up and try to tap the pylon behind me. Just like that, okay? From the side view, it looks like this. Straight body, reaching up and under, up and under, okay? So that's exercise two. We're gonna do that on both sides, okay? So we're gonna do a full 30 seconds on one side and then the other. Next, we're gonna do a V-sit pass-through. So in this position, nice straight back and weaving it through our legs here, okay? Option without the pylon, is just to hold that position, hands at the sides. If you want, you can move the feet slightly like that. And then lastly, we're gonna have two pylons at our sides. We're gonna lie back and we're gonna touch it's almost like mini side crunches, just like this, okay? Tapping each pylon. Make sure your neck and your chin is tucked in so that way you're not hurting your neck like that, okay? So we're going to do each exercise for 30 seconds each, and then after that, we're only going to be resting for 30 seconds. We're going to do that for three sets, okay? So I'm going to have my timer here going, and we're starting in 10 seconds. This is going to be a good one. So let's have that one pylon ready for our plank taps. So here, tap, tap. I'm going to just push it up so that way it's a little bit more challenging this right and again if you chose to do this like you don't have a pylon you don't need a pylon but you can also tap your shoulders similar concept just like so we're gonna have 10 seconds to catch your breath in between good guys let's get one pylon placed behind us for our side plan So up and under. You can also drop down that bottom knee if needed. It's still a great workout here. 
Make sure your hips are fully extended forward. This is a great challenge, Emma. Good. Let's switch sides. Three, two, one. Up and under. Up and under. Make sure the movements are controlled. Excellent. You got this, guys. That's like two more reps. Good work. Take our one pylon. We're going to do our V sits. While we do the pylon, we're like, Options to just hold isometrically if you'd like. Let's hope you have some great pump up music play, playing in the background to help keep you nice and energetic. You got this. Three, two, one. Good. Let's take two pylons to our sides, onto our back. I like to place them near my heel, right? Reach, reach. Slowly cleaning the floors here in our spin room with my back, that's fine. Kind of miss teaching classes, spin classes here. 10 seconds. Let's go guys, reach. Reach. Exhale. Good. We got a 30 second mini break just to catch some water. We got two more sets. Ooh, I feel the burn on my sides. I love the feeling right after a workout, how productive you feel and how much more energy you have. So we're almost there guys. Let's take our one pylon. We're going to do our planks. We're going to move back. That's it. Stay zeroed in on that item. And tap. Tap. We're breathing. Glutes are engaged. Legs are straight. Hands are underneath our armpit. Good. Okay, let's place that pylon behind four side planks. Up and under. And you'll feel if you place that pylon too far back. Just aim for it. I know I placed it a little too far. That's okay. Movement is still the same. Keep those hips up. You got this. Good. Let's switch over. Okay, not too far from my body now. And let's walk. Up. Down. Okay. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Really working that shoulder stability as well here. One more rep. Good job. Take that one pylon. We're going to do our pass in that V-sit position. Woo. Let's get it. Good. Uh, yep. That's it, guys. 20 seconds. You're keeping that core nice and um, engaged. Your back is straight. But remember, 
start to breathe. Three, two, one. Good. We're taking our two pylons, placing it just by our heels and lying onto the ground. Reach. Reach. That's it, guys. Good. You should feel the sides of your core really working here. Squeeze it. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale every time I reach for that pylon. It's like someone's going to punch your stomach. You're keeping it nice and engaged. Good job. We got one more set to go. It's been about 40 minutes, including the warm up, and I've already seen um, a burn a total of calories of 320 so far, with one more set to go. Okay, let's get that pile on ready. I feel that. 
switch. You're really feeling that stretch on that straight leg. Full body workout today, guys. Good. Next, you can hold on to a wall if needed. My balance might be a little off today, but I think I can do this without the wall. We're gonna do a quad stretch. If you want, you can also hinge forward, so that way you feel a deeper stretch. And switch sides. Bringing my thigh in line with my other thigh. shake it up. We're going to stretch our calves next. So pretend I have a wall in front of me. You're going to push against that wall, keep the back leg straight and the heel down. Okay? Feel the stretch right back there. I'm just going to put my hands on my knees here. You can go deeper to feel that stretch. Switch sides. Thanks for following along. I'll see you at the next class.